Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Game Dev Tycoon. Let's pick up right where we left off. We're making sports! Okay. Yeah, that looks good. And get me a sip of tea here, excuse me. Alright. Yep, that's good too. Go for it. Okay, we can research another topic. I think mono sounds available too, but here's what I would tell you. When you start doing research of, of components like, you know, mono sound or new graphics or whatever, bear in mind that every time you incorporate something new, it's costing you, you know, all of the other things that you want to incorporate into it too. So those those custom engines are expensive. So I only do it when I've got like at least two or three things new to add to the game engine. Otherwise, I don't waste the money because it is a waste. Because you can kind of limp along without it. So we need to beat... Basically, we need 19-19 in each category would be good. Or 17-19 or for design and tech. So I need one of these to at least beat the record. Come on, give us a couple more. Give us at least one more on design. Come on. Come on, man. You can do it. You're not gonna do it, are you? Come on, cough up one more. Nope, okay. I usually give it two or three weeks, and then if it's not going to happen, it's not going to happen, and you're just spending money trying to finish up the game. All right, so let's release that, and let's immediately research mythology. Okay, we can grab that. Then we'll do some contract work, and we'll do some uh, game whatever reviews. Not reviews, but... Uh... Oh, really? We're going to get aids across the board again? I was not expecting that. That's good. We got a decent score that time, even though we didn't exceed uh, design and tech score because everything else lined up, right? So, like, it was the right genre match, it was the right platform match, all of that helps. All right, let's generate a game report. We'll do all of these, just not so much for the information they're going to give because I kind of already know, but to generate some research points. It's a good way to do it. The Master V by Vena is being released, okay. In terms of how much money you want to have on hand before you move offices, first off, it's not going to ask you until you've got like, I think a million, once you have a million it'll ask you, and it costs like a uh, hundred and fifty grand I think to move to the first office. What I would tell you is that I don't like to move over there until I have a couple of million, and the reason why is because it's very expensive to do recruiting. Like, very expensive. And I always want to try to get two new hires on board, like, like right away. And so that means I'm not going to be making any games for months and months and months and spending a lot of money trying to find the right people. So I like to be well prepared when I go over there. Do, do, do. And as far as the time limit, only having, whatever, 42 years, um, it's not that big a deal because at some point it'll let you just... Like, you'll get your score, you know, so if that's really important to you, getting a better score at the end, then, yeah, being aware of the time frame matters, but otherwise it lets you keep playing pretty much, like, in sandbox mode once you get to the end, so you don't have to worry too much. Okay, let's see, research. Oh, we could do a, we could do a horror game, like a adventure or an action game. Yeah, as I recall, horror, action, and adventure are both pretty good, but we need a mature rating for it to really do it upright. All right, so let's just do, let's do this. We'll grab horror, and then we'll come back in here and we'll get target audience. Do 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 do. Because I don't think I think target audience is just like 
it just opens that up. I don't think we have to put that into the custom engine. If I recall, we don't. So that's a good one for us to research. Grab this. Then we'll grab the ability to change the, the rating of the game and we'll release a horror game with a mature rating. And because it's the first time we're doing it, we should get some extra like hype for the game. We don't we can't do marketing yet, but people find out about what we're doing and then they hype it for us, which is great. Okay, now develop new game. Yep, so we're gonna do mature. Topic is gonna be horror, pick genre, we're gonna do action. So this is a plus three, the mature match. This is plus three, this is plus three. Platform. Uh, action is two, action is two. And both of them support mature rating. Then we should go ahead and do the G64 because it's got slightly better market share. Oh, it's minuscule though. I'd rather do it for the PC. Just personal preference. No offense. I used to have a Commodore 64 back in the day too. Actually, that was my first. That was my first computer. Was a Commodore 64. Yep. Do do. What was your guy's first computer? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments. Anybody else have a Commodore 64 as their first? And then my first like IBM compatible PC was a 386 SX25. Yeah, with four megs, four megs, four megabytes of memory, and it had a 20, like a 28 meg, again meg, not gig, a 28 meg MFM drive that spun at like 42 milliseconds, and it was, it was huge, it was like a, <laughs> you know those like kind of big bottles of water, like, uh, whatever, um, Fiji water that kind of have that square, kind of a square shape to them. Well, that squatty big bottle that they, they sell, it was about that big and it was solid, like solid steel. I mean, the thing, you could break through a wall with that hard drive. It was a Connor, which is a company that's not even in business anymore. Okay, so for a horror game, let's call this one. Uh, hmm. The Dark Knight. No, we can't do The Dark Knight. That's not going to work. <laughs> oh. Let's see. How about under... No, I don't want to use one of those names yet. I've got... Because I've got it like series that I use in my head. Let's do... Uh... Here, we'll do something. We'll just do this. Scary Stuffs. Yeah, this one's Scary Stuffs. Then we can do scary stuffs like one through eight or whatever. We can do sequels if it turns out well. Okay, gameplay's up, engines up. That all looks good. So I want to do RPGs, and I don't think we've made one yet. Okay, marketing's open. Level design up, up. Okay, 8 slash 9, sound up, graphics down. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. This is an action game. Why is it saying world design plus 2? Because that's... Is it horror action? Graphics should be higher though. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I don't remember world design even being like a thing for this. Yeah, I think we let's lower that a little bit and let's up graphics some more. We want it to fall on the tech side anyway. Okay, now wants to know what we're doing with this game. So we're gonna give him the interview. 
And then it should give us a little bit of hype when the article comes out. Because we're taking a risk here. Planet GG has recently published an interview with Tiny Ratchet Game. According to the interview, the company is working on its first game targeted at mature players. Mal, owner and CEO of Tiny Ratchet Game, said, We think that players are looking for more mature content in games, and we're willing to take the risk to give it to them. Yes, we are the one-man show that we have here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of hype, 14, which is good. <laughs> Help sell some more copies. You uh, you can't keep, like right now, I'm trying to get us some more... Yep, have more than a million. Yep, thank you. Or when you get more than a million, is what it was saying, then we can move. I want to have these go higher, and I want to spend some more time on the game, but then we're going to start losing hype. So I'm just going to go ahead and release. It should still be a pretty good game. Oh, the game link's coming out, huh? Okay. Okay, new topic, new combo. Okay, so... 2D graphics version 3 and 3D... Yeah, we need 3D graphics version 1 is what we need. Alright, let's see. Research. We can pick up that. Yeah, let's do that. And usually what I do is I grab... I grab the 3D graphics once it opens up, and then I just continue researching that line. I don't research 2D also. Some people do. Um, I don't see the point in that, really. Okay, generate game report. Okay, now we're going to do some contract work. We're going to pick up something else. Maybe casual games, or we're going to research something else. Because the game link just came out, so we can build a casual game for it. Oh, we could do, like, fashion or something. <laughs> we could do, like, a fashion RPG or a fashion simulation game. Uh, let's... Let's take a look first. Let me see what we can get here. Mono sound is two more points. Okay, so let's do another contract. Okay, contract failed, got a penalty of 11k, which you still make money even if you get a penalty. So, it's kind of like, just do it for the research points, really, not for the money so much. Okay, game tutorials or sound? Hmm. Actually, I think I'll take the gameplay one. Do 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 Don't forget! Don't forget to put in the comments, or on the Discord server. Let me know. Like, you know, I'm gonna make a vampire game. I want you to make a vampire game, uh, that's, uh, whatever. An adventure game, and it's called Sink Your Teeth Into It. Something like that. You know, just come up with a concept for a game, and a name. Put it in the comments. Do, 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 do. And I think what I'm going to do is whoever comes up with like the best names throughout the series I'm probably just going to gift people copies of the game on on Steam. That's one. That's that's my plan That's my plan. Now how many copies Mel? I don't know. We'll see how successful the series is <laughs> I'm not made of money. I'm not made of money uh, Let's see yeah, create custom engine. Okay, so we're going to switch. We're going to get rid of this one. Because see, notice you pay for every option that you put in the engine. So take everything out that you don't need. And we're going to do Evo V.2. We're going to grab gameplay tutorials. And again, I always do this, or I try to remember to do this, which is have at least two or three things that you're going to add into your engine before you spend, in this case, 100K. 
later on it becomes way more expensive. So again, my recommendation is only, only do a new game engine when you have multiple things to add. Boop, 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 boop. Okay. Now, do we want to do, let's try it. Let's try it. We're going to do E for everyone. We're going to pick fashion. We're going to make it a simulation game. We're going to put it on the game link and we're going to pay the license fee. We're going to pick our engine and we're going to call this one fancy boots. Give it the new graphics. Do, 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 do. Okay, we'll grab gameplay tutorials and save game engine. So this could give us, this should give us a decent score through the first phase. Kind of boost us up a little bit. Eight slash six, okay. Lower the level design a little bit. Dialogues can be killed off. Yeah, 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 we got it, we got it. Okay, this is looking promising. Graphics up, sound down. World design, we can pretty much get rid of that. Okay, so we've set a new record in design. I don't know if we're going to get any more tech here. I doubt it. Yeah, let's just release. This will be decent, or it should be. As long as the topic is okay on the game link, which I'm not 100% sure on. That could hurt us on the rating. When we get start to get our reviews, if the fashion simulation on that particular um, game platform, that might be the only non-match that we have, which will severely hurt our score, actually. So hopefully, it's good to go. Okay, new topic. Hunting? <sighs> Alright. They'll just give us one, just one decent RPG topic we can get out of the garage. So it's just gonna come out to a seven. Okay, that's not too bad. Come on. Oh, space is pretty good. We could do a space uh, action game. You would think that you could do like Mass Effect and do like a space RPG, but space RPG doesn't seem to work out too well. Sci-fi, however, does. So. Well, Fancy Boots set a record. Nice. Go, go Fancy Boots. Is there more contract work? Yep. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do, folks. I'm going to end this one here, and then I'm probably going to play just a little bit on my own until I've set the stage for us to really get out of the garage, okay? So when I come back in the next episode, uh, I plan on being on the cusp of us being able to get out of the garage, okay? Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Keep the suggestions and ideas for games coming, and I'll see you later. Do 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 do